Well, I hoped never to see you again. What's up, dog? We're back. Lads, landing in Dublin and back with a bang with the new film. When did the conversation start to actually get this to happen? I think we probably were having the hopes and dreams of doing it on the first one. I mean, obviously we were in high school and the next logical step and the crazier step would have been college, so we were hoping. Exactly, and obviously huge expectation because not only did it do great at the box office, but the general reception from it after was it was like one of the best comedies of that year. So did you feel that expectation kind of going into this one? <clears throat> well, in the first one we really tried to make fun of ourselves for turning a TV show into a film. Yeah. And then in this one we really tried to make fun of ourselves for making a sequel because sequels are always just more expensive and worse than the first one. Yeah. So You don't even just make fun of yourselves, you literally go even further than that in that. Obviously the last sequence, but we can't talk about that because it is very, very special. Let's talk the stunts, because obviously even the, the start of uh, the film just it kicks straight in. Were you involved in those stunts, or uh, how involved did you want to be in those stunts? I think that's more Chan's territory <laughs> than mine. <laughs> how far did he get? Go on, tell me. No, he actually did. He did a lot, but uh, but he th he finds it funnier to like watch other people hurt themselves and then laugh at them than. Yeah. <laughs> than... I just think it's I don't know. From the first movie, right away we decided that yeah. it's funnier for my character to just completely mess up any um, physical. Challenge. Which in hindsight I probably should have done because yeah. my body would hurt a lot less yeah. and uh, I would have had to work a lot less hard. You'll know for the next film, <laughs> definitely. Uh, recapturing, I guess, that relationship that you guys had in the first film, because obviously that's how the comedy works. Does that come instantly when you get back on set or do you have to kind of go on a few nights out and kind of recapture it through that? No, I mean, Jonah and I have been friends like since, you know, since the first one ended and, and so it's not really hard to pick up where you well, left started. off. Yeah. <laughs> so you weren't friends on set? Is that yeah. what you're saying? <laughs> it sounds like we hated each other all through the first one. Pretty much, you know, that's, yeah, that's true. That's, that's about right. <laughs> <What>? no? <laughs> The important thing is we made a movie. No, and actually things click back in like right away. And we also hung out in between. It's not like we were just strangers. We didn't hang out actually on the second movie, just in between the two movies. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And obviously that opens the scope for improv. Is there a lot of improv? Our scenes were shot separately. We were just <laughs> looking. Like one Direction back there, man. That was crazy. That was, that was nuts. One Direction are in town and everybody's waiting for you outside. Oh, yeah. I think they just thought this was a One yeah, Direction. They were like, crowd. They were like a bunch of crowds. Harry? Oh, Harry's got older. There's people getting out of cars. Oh. Oh, wait, who are these yeah. old guys? <laughs> <laughs> but obviously, the scope for improv, does that come from the relationship? Do you guys just trust each other completely on set? Yeah, uh, Jonah's an amazing writer, and the, and the guys as well, the directors, Chris and Phil, and and, uh, and I don't know, they write they write great stuff, and then we do that, and then it's all up for play after that. And uh, producer credits now, too, so what was that? How involved were you in, in that level of things? You know, uh, I, it's just about trying to make the best movie you can, and, and I think when you produce the movies also, you, you get a chance to really just be a large part of the creative process and for us that was so fun and and Chan as a producer is so wonderful and you know his ideas are so integral to the movie being good and, and so you know it's something we really appreciate it. And quickly before we go has the Oscar nominations changed him? Not at all. Not at all, man. He's he, he, he's he's a monster now. He, he doesn't get. I was a monster before. <laughs> and you'll be a monster forever. Thank no, you so no, much, guys. Absolutely. Appreciate it. Absolutely Cheers. Enjoy not. Dublin. Yeah, cheers. 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 All right. We Jump Street, and we're about to jump in your ass. Mm -hmm. Right in the crack.